I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with all on my own. Oh, oh no. Oh no. You learn the Eureka emote from the caretaker. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> In prayer. Ah, yes. Real rad. <laughs> I like Briar. <laughs> Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of interschool pairs, okay? Time to mingle. on them. Don't know. You know what? If I get to choose, I'm taking the kid. Because the kid's at least nice. Um, I mean... Aww. Wait, what? Oh, I can just leave. Try telling the other kids it's time to make some new friends. I don't want to make new friends! <laughs> Right, this is a Japanese game. You need to talk to everyone. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and Brian. Oh, uh, whatever, right? Bitch, I will beat your ass. <laughs> Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us? Poor, lonely, blueberry students. They know. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. Uh. He won't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what are you telling here that, that for, dummy? Hey, watch who you're called dummy if you know what's good for you. Ah, man. Look at him, being all shy. See, my brother's no good at, at, at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Yes, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll go nice and easy on him if I can, because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? Turns out that you're sort of nice. This will make my brother real happy. Bitch? Yeah, yeah, she's a bitch. I don't like her. <laughs> He's literally been aggressive to you the whole time, and you're the one who's unfriendly? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Kiki. Aaron Bright says she'll battle with you. What? What else is? Really? You don't mind? Every time I say wowzers, I think of the fucking Chuck E. Cheese VTuber fucking thing from, on Twitch. Because he says wowzers a lot. <laughs> it, right, it sounds like he wants you to beat her, beat him up. She doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I, I, I got this. Maybe, oh, there's actually a new form of um, evolution of Applin, by the way. There's a new evolution of the Apple Dragon? Yeah. Aww. This, okay, just looking at this doesn't look fair. Like, there's a giant shark dragon. <laughs> versus a tiny weasel. <laughs> well, it's technically not a weasel, but whatever it is, it's not strong enough to... Yeah. <laughs> it's not strong enough to take care of a shark dragon. <laughs> like, why is Carmine looking excited hoping for her brother to win? This isn't gonna end well. <laughs> 
Oh no. Cheery. Keep firm, Pokemon. Oh, you're gonna crunch him with all your Pokemon? No, it Cheery, it's your favorite Pokemon about to come out. Oh. <laughs> well, I love that Pokemon, it's just fucking annoying and Pokemon Go! Anyone else who plays Pokemon Go who tried to get something can relate? I'm sure of it. Oh my god. Oh, well, that was easy. I thought it would have a third. Wowzers! God, stop saying wowzers! I don't want Chuck E. Cheese on my mind. Maybe he is the incarnation of the next Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese just fuses with a human and becomes human. <laughs> Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. God damn it. Why is this? You really sh you sure are strong, Aaron Bright. Really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I, I didn't know about that. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? Should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. Yes, that's who I wanted to pair up with. Yeah, she isn't exactly proving to not be a total bitch. Yeah. What? No. Sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outsider instead of Aaron Brett? Well, no, but oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you. You can use my fucking name! <laughs> looks, looks like you're all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. Oh wait, now I realize since I'm paired, I'm paired up. I can't catch Pokemon. God damn it! <laughs> You're angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, if you find yourself in the need of any potions, or Pokeballs, or the like, head over that way and stop by Peachy's. They'll be happy to set you two rights. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. Give me a moment. Okay. So far, it looks like it's just gonna be me and you. Hatch, oh. won't, Hatch won't be able to attend there, feeling yeah, under the weather. There. It's out there past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might, uh, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. What? Oh, God. Now's gonna be a six feet rule. <laughs> this is COVID-19 in Pokemon. <laughs> no, you just shy. <laughs> Where do I need to go? Wait, actually, since I am alone now, 
Oh, we can get a sentry over here. I think I'm alone now. There's a Bonsley uh, over there. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm just looking around to see if there's any Pokemon. I haven't caught yet. I caught everything around in here. I think. It'll probably change around nighttime. So it looks like the only thing that I see is a Sentret and the Bonsley right there. Oh! Oh shoot! It's a it's a Growlithe from Legends of Arceus right there. Yeah, probably her Growlithe. Oh! Wait! Wait! Okay, I'm not gonna talk to her just yet, but I swear, I swear there is a person from Legend of Arceus that actually looks like her, but is a dude. So I think this is a descendant. Like, the exact same hair color and eye color and everything. Okay, so anyway, so let's go catch the Pokemon. I'm gonna point out she has a very common hair and eye color. That's true. Apple Hills. <gasps> it's cheery! Hey, I am not <laughs> every single snake. I swim. Let's see, I have not caught that. Why do you go to timer ball? Quick balls. Yeah, I took an investment in quick balls. <laughs> <laughs> of the Pokemon that got variants for regions would, yeah. would be Ekans. Yeah. Ekans, the snake Pokemon. A very common sight in grasslands and such. It flicks its tongue in and out to sense danger in its surroundings. Wait, this thing's 6 feet 7 inches. That's pretty short for a snake. That means that snake's longer than me. <laughs> right? Snakes are supposed to be long. Yeah. I actually... This actually is a Pokemon that I use for Pokemon Soul and Silver. Bellsprout. What about Bellsprout? It, I use it to, uh... Defeat the Pokemon Championship and Pokemon Soul Silver. Because oh. it's like a plant type of one you can get really early on. Bill Sprout, the flower Pokemon. It plants its feet deep underground to rehydrate itself. While doing so, it's unable to run away if it's attacked. Also, its evolution looks like Krusty the Clown. <laughs> Do you like that voice I'm giving for the, um, Pokedex entries? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do we have this one? I think I do. Yes, I do. God damn it. I didn't have that Starly, that's one thing I do know I didn't have. And now it's completely gone. Luckily I have the whole Pikachu line, so I don't have to worry about Pichu. Just looking around to see if there's any other Pokemon I don't have. What's that? Oh, that's the, the mouse Pokemon, I'm not gonna Ooh, TM. What did I get? Dig. <laughs> it's the move, Dig. <laughs> there you are, motherfucker. Get over here.
Oh yeah, now we're we'll able to tell, so we'll probably say what type of animal it is. I think it is a weasel. Or well it's evolution sets as a weasel, if I remember correctly. Sentret, the scout Pokemon. If it encounters a foe, it will stand up on its tail, making itself look bigger than usual to intimidate them. It's species of scout. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I already caught a Starly and evolved all the way. Never mind, I don't have to worry about Starly. <laughs> Shimmer. Yeah, hold on. I want to look at the Pokédex. Oh, fuck. I forgot. You don't run after the sparkles on the ground? I do. There we go. Yeah, I, I do. I, that gives, like, items and stuff. Alright, so I completed this. Kitagami, let's see. How much of this is fully filled? Oh, wow. Yeah. Majority of it is already filled. Wait, I may have gotten like the regional variants because I, because of the I filled out the previous Pokédex, so I don't have to worry about regional variants. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh... So I can just go out capture Pokémon I don't have, which is awesome. I'll take that. There we go, Pokeball. Let's see. One thing I do know is that you can find the evolution, the new evolution of Applin in the wild. So I'm just saying. Right, right, right. The hell? It's an apple. What <laughs> a shiny apple! Now it's an even shinier apple. <laughs> har har har! <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's so cute. The worst part is, is I can't send a poke ball at it, and so that means uh, it's gonna die. Oh wait, no, it's fine. I'll catch a special form applin. Of course, we already captured this four, so I don't think it's going to give us Pokédex entry. Oh, it was not. A it will. Oh. Applin, the Apple Core Pokemon. Applin lives inside an apple. When an Applin is separated from its apple, its body loses moisture and the Pokemon grows weak. It's not as shiny like I thought it was. It was just a transformer. <laughs> it just turns into a robot. <laughs> har, har, har. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll see more things at night. I'm not seeing any really new Pokemon that I haven't caught. And I'm wondering what I'll get as a reward for completing this area's Pokedex. What was your reward for the other Pokedex? A shiny charm. Oh. So if I were to guess, I'll probably get the oval charm, which helps it hatch eggs faster. <laughs> I still find it funny, I almost filled out the Pokex already. Let's see. 
Is that the caterpillar or something else? Yeah, that's a caterpillar. <laughs> oh, look at it. Very beautiful. So adorable. No murdering it. <laughs> you immediately throw a Pokeball at it. Kill it. I'm like, don't kill it, you kill it. <laughs> you should have said nothing, Cheery. Alright, let's see what else we got. Yeah, what, what I'm thinking is, is if I beat this tonight, uh, well, I'm actually gonna stream tell I beat this tonight, but if I beat it early, um, uh, I guess I'll do some shiny hunting. In this new area. Huh. Wait, there's a sparkle <gasps> it's chew. area that's... that's a a raid thing. I'm not gonna go after that. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah I am. Yeah, that's a raid thing. It's pretty easy. Well it depends. Oh, that's a five star. Are you scared? I don't think I have that one yet. So let's hope Grand Inferno, because this is an ice type. Oh wait, no, it's changing the dragon. Hold on, no, it's changing the dragon. Wait, why does an ice type turn into a dragon? <laughs> Oh, help us arrive you got a full party to raid with. Please don't give me shitty bots. Because if I do, I'm going to get fucked in the ass. And white screen. Uh, oh. It's Memo Slime. Is it? Oh, two guard effects. That's a good thing. Oh, you're right. I'm a swan. How long is the time? Moonblast. Bitch. Oh. Eris is almost dead. <laughs> Moonblast. We're barely doing any damage. <laughs> oh! Eris is getting her ass kicked. As long as the health health is being beaten by the timer, that's all that matters. Stop aiming for Eris, you bitch! Have to change Pokemon, can you? I can't. I have to wait. Oh, and there we goes. The fucking glitch is still there. Where the time will sh where the time will shorten immediately if a Pokemon dies. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah. Why did I get that feeling when only no other Pokemon? Oh, it seems like they all are also hitting other Pokemon because the other one also and died. I'm yeah, I'm not winning this. And now there's a barrier, which means it's gonna be twice as hard to knock the health down. Alright, Eris. Uh, even though this is probably not going to do well for us. Try your hardest. <laughs> and somehow, Mammoth Swine disappeared for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, 
Let's look at the timer. The orange bar is the timer, and look at the health. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is why I don't do raids much anymore. <laughs> Man, Maybe she just needs to be level, level 100? I'd say yes, but that's a lot of work. And she's dead. Why'd they make those deaths so dramatic? OH MY GOD! Yeah, you saw I it, didn't it. you? Yeah! The, the, the glitch is still fucking there. I guess instead of fixing glitches, they're just adding more to the game. <laughs> so yeah, like I told you, I'm not gonna beat this. I'm sorry. I guess the only way you have a chance is either a different Pokemon better suited or a better looking Pokemon. Even though it's 869, it's still pretty amazing. <laughs> right? Master level 70. I don't have any okay. Alright, well, so... Yeah. Whatever gender that thing is. It's also at a 5 star, like the, the 6 star and 7 star is like the, the bo uh, super big boss ones that are really hard, like legendaries. 5 stars are the bosses. Oh! Yeah, they're not gonna be easy, even if I do level them up. That's why I don't really do five stars. <laughs> well, what if you win it? It might be nice, right? Yeah, maybe another time. When I want to complete the story. Ah, Loyalty Plaza, I found it. I feel. What's this thing? That's the first signboard. S sorry, did I startle you? The I, only I, person I... you startle is yourself. Yeah, wait a minute. You left ahead of me. How did I beat you here? He's been following behind you the entire time, remember? Hey. Didn't mention now to hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? Oh, I already know the whole story, so go, go ahead. You should check it out. I guess I'll do the Pokédex voice for it. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. Ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain, and a terrible rage caused great fear in the village. But some stroke of luck, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezzo de Petiti all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and sent it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were, are given a proper burial, and the statues of the three were erected above the site. The, three, the Loyal Three monument is right over there. But don't think, but don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? Sure, uh, I'll be kind to you. Right, I knew you'd get it, Aaron Bright. I was up against three whole opponents at, it was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. God damn it, Wowzers! That's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people. With just thinking ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountains so many times at night on my own, and I never 
once met that ogre. The only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? Oh god, that... I don't... Wait, hold on, hold on. We're using the selfie stick. Who's holding the phone? <laughs> uh, the ground. Yeah, we just stabbed the ground with the selfie stick. <laughs> that defeats the purpose of the selfie stick. <laughs> Still works better than just ground. Yeah. <laughs> that turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. Thanks. Say, not to butter you up or anything. Y you know, I don't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Aaron Brett. Hey, hey, if you want to, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? <laughs> just checking the sandwich as mentioned. Mariah Dawn is like, yes. <laughs> yeah, what is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? Uh, kid. This would not, not be considered a kaiju. <laughs> not the weirdest Pokemon in the world. I'm pretty sure, like, I might be wrong, but I think for a kaiju, you have to be at least bigger than four stories. I don't know if you need to be that big, but I do know you need to be bigger than people. Yeah, and Maridon's not that much bigger than a person. <laughs> well, they're bigger than children. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably not bigger than adult humans. Yeah. <laughs> Kaiju? This is right on. It's called Mer It's gone right on. I mean, right on it, huh? Never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. They're hungry. Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. What the hungry Pokemon? No wonder you're so strong, Aaron Bright. You're... you're special. I'm not sure if they're, they're like, asking me out or not. I, I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to be your friend. Maybe. <laughs> so, the next air... We should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of, of Kitakami Hall. Um, Kitakami Hall is... Well, first of all, back to town from here. Then there's a bridge you cross from there. You'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Damn, <laughs> Rhydon's upset that they didn't get a sandwich. They want a sandwich. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. They're not a magical Pokemon or a magical creature. They just want food. Oh, there's no Pokemon around here. Oh! This must be the shrine they're talking about. One has a hat. One has a sweater thing, I think. And the other has a, 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 a cape. Understood. The story reminds me of some weird version of Momotaro. You know that story, right? Possibly. Right, you have to know Momotaro. I don't know, maybe? 
an old couple, like, it's a Japanese folklore thing, basically, an old couple wants a child, they do not have a child, uh, they pray for it every day, one day, when the wife was doing the laundry, she, in the river, which was her job, her husband's job was collecting sticks, one day when she was washing in the river, she saw a giant peach, and she took it home with her. When she got home, her, I forgot if it was her or her husband was going to cut it open, but yeah, out popped a baby. <laughs> Obviously, they did not eat the baby. They adopted the baby. The baby was their son. Uh. Their son grew up strong and tall, and he helped his parents, and he helped everyone in the village. Everyone loved him. He was Momo Taro, which means Peach Boy. So if you ever wonder why Japan calls so many things Peach Boy or Peach Girl, Probably that fucking story. Uh. And, uh, ogres started to cause chaos in the village, like, but do bad things. So he told his mom, his parents, he was going to go fight the ogres. And the, the mom gave him a bunch of dumplings. And he gave one dumpling to a pheasant, one to a dog, and a few other animals, They be like a monkey and others. And anyway, they went to the ogres and all the friends he made by giving the dumplings and sharing and being friendly and nice. All helped him defeat the ogres, although Momotaro's kind of terrifying, so I feel like he could have done it on his own, but yeah, I think that that, that's not the point of the story, but yeah. He saved everyone by defeating the ogre with his friends. Right. Also. Alright. Oh, sorry. Which is why it reminds me of uh, Peach Boy. Got it. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Furret, the long-bodied Pokemon. It is nimble and has a very flexible body. Even if you get a hold of it, It'll slip right out of your arms. And apparently it's bigger than me. It's 5 foot 11. I'm 5'6". Also, I've looked it up randomly, and this is literally the first picture for Momotaro that popped up. So it's reminding me even more of, of Momotaro. That looks like the three, right? Um... Uh, where did you, has... where'd you put it? Oh, there the I see. Yeah. yeah. It's probably based off that. I thought you were supposed to be in Italy. Well, no, uh, we're technically a part of Unova right now. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. I have no idea where Unova is. I think it was supposed to be France. Okay, I'm lost again. <laughs> Why is Momo Taro in France? He, he, they switch countries. <laughs> Okay, so right around there. I have act. Okay, so. Are you gonna take a shortcut? Possibly. I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to figure out. There we go, that's the boost button. I forgot the boost button for a second. And now. I'm gonna walk around and see if there's any. Pokemon I don't have. Well, heading up there. Okay. Almost. Oh! 
Get over here, bitch. <laughs> Don't call them bitch. They're just a little nutty. <laughs> Boom. Considering lemon could kill them by breathing on them, Rob. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. See that? The acorn Pokemon. See that lives in trees, hanging from the branches and leaching moisture. Rows of them can be found dangling from large young trees. I see two Pokemon I don't have. Oh, well, technically three now. So I see them in the distance. See that little squirrel thing and the eight ball. Oh wait, I already have a rock buff. Never mind. Fuck off. Just with the squirrel. Because that's probably gonna be the most annoying to go after. Alright, get over here. Get over here bitch. Oh yeah, this is from Galar. Yeah. Oh, I already got one. Never mind. <laughs> Do I have... I don't think I have you. I'm not sure, That's I'm just gonna... Do you have the musical bug? Yes. <laughs> How can you tell? Because it shows the Pokeball symbol. Oh, that that's actually helpful. See that Pokeball symbol? Oh. That means I've caught it. I forgot this button existed. That would have been so useful. Do I have an A-Palm? No, I do not. Get over your bitch. That's a perfect camera angle. <laughs> it looks kind of like you're screaming at your ass. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to need a bunch of those to get over here. The real issue is how do you hit it without murdering it? You're like, I cannot use Pokeball. Alright, so now I can't use Quick Balls anymore. That's fine, cause I have another set of Quick Balls just perfect for this. Go, Timer Balls! I should have invested more Timer Balls, to be honest. Do you know how they work? No, how do they work? How, the higher the. the the chance of successful capture depends on how many uh, more rounds go on. The longer it keeps going, the more likely you'll catch it. So oh. it's the exact opposite of quick balls. So technically, I'm just increasing the chance of capture, which each timer ball I'm using. Why don't you hit it at least once? Because I don't want to kill it. <laughs> it's a different Pokemon! But don't worry, Lemon can handle this. I know Lemon can hit, be hit a thousand times over, but it might be easier to use to hit it without killing it. Don't worry, I have the. It, don't worry, Jerry, it's the ultimate strategy. He <laughs> loses this. Of depressing seeing how little it takes off of Lemon's health. See, it worked. <laughs> oh, shit. Apom, the long tailed Pokemon. Its tail moves with greater dexterity than its hands. Making deft use of his, of this tail, Apon lives high among the treetops. Apon, the asshole Pokemon. I mean... Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I've always hated Apon. 
Ah, don't have a full pix. Oh, shit. All right, Jerry, entertain the stream. I'll be right back. I did not realize what time it is. I gotta go get this stuff. Welcome back. Thank you. I am back. Alright. Now stay in the quick ball, bitch. Oh, it listened. <laughs> I should just say it to every Pokemon now, because apparently that works. <laughs> Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. As his body grows larger, its six one its six one tails grows more beautiful and more luxurious coat of fur. Oh yeah, I need to put something in TW topic. Vulpix. Already got a Pachirisu. <gasps> Swine up! Oh, what a cute little piggy boy. Wait, you boy. I know what the name is Swine up. I'm naming it. I'm naming the Swine up. You will not even guess what name I'm giving the swine nub. Nub? No. Swine nub, the pig Pokemon. It rubs its snout against the ground, digging through the soil as it searches for food. Sometimes it digs up hot springs. Wait, are you saying Busta is like a little pig? I'm calling my little piggy because it makes gr piggy grunt sounds when I pet him. <laughs> He's okay, my little piggy. <laughs> and I put the thing in TW Topic in case you are interested. Yeah, I'll probably look at it later. I got a hair across. C dot. Alright, so I think I got everything around this area. What's that? Oh, that's Pachirisu. I don't want a fucking Pachirisu. I already caught one. I already got a Patil. I like Patil. Yeah. Got a Patil and that's Cricket Top. All right. Probably will be seeing more Pokemon. Oh, that's new. Up here. So, till. Oh, Nuzly! Don't have you. Brick Ball! That was easy. <laughs> Almost like you, someone who maxed out at least one Pokemon, used a quick ball. <laughs> Nestleaf, the Willy Pokemon. Its sensory functions are concentrated in its pointed nose. 
which it uses to sense its surroundings. The nose is also its weak point. The wily Pokemon. Oh, wily, okay. If you say Willy, it sounds like something else. <laughs> it's like a penis. <laughs> I'm not wrong. People call it that. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck is Kyle? Oh, hi, hi, dicks. Hi. <laughs> uh... You came in and just the time. Oh God, Jerry sounds exhausted. What have you been doing to them? Nothing. Oh, she didn't do anything. Yeah. I had work. Also, I remembered something before work. I put that in PW topic. Oh. I did nothing yet, Dix. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, she did nothing yet. <laughs> I think we are just saying it that way because we're kind of expecting her to do something. That's fair. I'm waiting for Momo to call me back. Oh. Uh. Why'd they say soon themselves? Hell if I know. Like soon. <laughs> soon. Just soon, Jerry. What are those little places selling? Pokemon. Gonna... What? <laughs> oh no, those are so cute. I love them. The Winchan Pokemon. Oh, they're not even open yet. Oh look, there's all the Pokemon types. It might be better if it's not open, because if it was open, you'd be able to buy a fucking mask. Perfect. But you'd run around with, like, a random Pokemon, like, mask on? Yes. I love confusion. As confused as France. Pokemon France is feeling super Japanese. Oh, there it is. Well, you passed it. Get the Pokeball first. I got a repeat ball. That's the second signboard. Be tricky to find, huh? But sorry, I'm falling at a distance, so I... I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said, depending on the mask, the ogre do downed the powers of its cudgel would change when wearing a teal mask it could bring life back into withered greenery around it when wearing the crimson mask it can turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno when wearing the blue mask it could stop the very flow of a river when wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they rustled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did, did you read it? The masks these little three stole are kept over the Kitagami Hall. Everyone in the town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. It was strong and cool, and didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. 
I want to be as cool as that as the ogre. The ogre was a. I'm not saying that on Twitch. <laughs> a cunt. <laughs> right. <laughs> My sister it ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I, I went trying to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become someone people can rely on. Then maybe, just maybe, I could be that ogre's friend. <laughs>